Why, hello Randy, it's your pal James. I'm uh, going to try to help you get that vocoder thing straightened out with your microcorg. Because um, I got mine working with a different microphone than the one that's built in, so I don't necessarily know what the problem would be with the one you have. But, I mean, I'll just show you how I got mine hooked up and maybe that'll help. Um, we are going to want to use, like, a dynamic microphone because there's absolutely no purpose to having a condenser, really. It's just a vocoder. You don't need that. And also that way, like, since it's dynamic, you don't have to worry about finding a phantom power source for it and that sort of thing. But anyway, I have one that has, like, I have an XLR cable that is XLR on the end, and the other end is just standard TS. I mean, you can probably just use an adapter and that's fine. But we're going to plug that right into audio in one in dynamic. Uh, we're going to want to make sure this is set to microphone, because believe it or not, it's a microphone. And anyway, um, this volume one thing, you want to have that set sort of high. It's essentially just your record in, like the input level. And that's important, because if you forget that, it's not going to make any sound. Um, so you just press a key, and it works. So. I don't know if yours works at this point, but mine works at this point, and I don't know what else to say. So, best of luck, and yeah.